If you have ever wondered how a motor works, and who hasn't? Steve Spangler has a simple design for you. In today's Science Minute, he uses easy to find materials that you can get at your local hardware store. If you've ever wondered how a motor works, here's a simple desktop version that you can make using just materials you can find at the hardware store, a little combination of art and science. All right, we're gonna start with a source of electricity, and so that's our battery. That's all you need is a battery. And to that, you need to add a neodymium magnet. Now these are super strong magnets. You'll find them at the hardware store. It's called a neodymium magnet. Really, really strong. The electricity, as you know, with a battery can now flow through that magnet right there. So that's a contact and that's a contact. We need something to carry the electricity down. That's where the piece of metal comes in. This is just copper wire that an electrician would use, for example, to wire a switch. So we, the hard part is just balancing this, but the electricity is gonna touch on those ends there and the tip there. So watch what happens when I just set it here like this and I let it go, oh, there it goes. Now watch what's going on. Electricity is traveling through the wire and when it does, it creates a magnetic force, but that magnetic force is repelled by the magnet down below. The electricity is traveling through that. Through that. It's called the Lorentz effect uh, or that force that's there. Ah, and you can see it just taking off. Now you can be kind of artsy with it as well. I'm using some craft wire here. Just be patient. Let's see if we can now make this travel, but you can make some of the coolest designs right there. And there it goes as well. But what if we could do this? What if we could actually make the magnet spin? We could do that by a different setup. So this time I'm gonna use a larger battery and I have that neodymium magnet, it's there on a screw. So watch, it will just hook there through magnetism. And now I'm gonna use the electricity now to propel the magnet. Look at this. Oh, there it goes. Look at how fast it's going. Isn't that awesome? So you can see it here. We'll hook this onto it. That makes it even better. And now this hooks like this and look at that cool motor. Simple way to be able to make something move that motor and to get your creative ideas flowing. I'm Steve Spangler and that's your motorized science minute.